From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Well, that certainly is rough in Sun Valley, and I'm starting off with a picture here of Baldy. And as you can see up through here, you can see some of the clouds. What I'm showing you at this time, uh, they do have warmer temperatures, which is developing the melting throughout the area they have for quite some time and a lot of snow up there. If you look during the day, you see the clouds move over quite quickly, uh, but they're somewhat dark. There's a few showers up along through there, not helping, but at least it's not heavy. And there's some thunderstorms that are still around the area there. So when you look at the Haley forecast, we're going to have that in a second, but the temperatures are in the 60s. You notice Boise at 82 degrees. Temperatures are basically around 80 degrees as you get to Twin Falls, where the high temperature upper 70s. That's pretty much what we have. Pollen count. Well, it's time to start watching this because as you know, when the temperatures start going up, so does the pollen. Uh, at this point, this is what we're looking at, which isn't too bad compared to the high categories that we had last week. But you can see that some of our hottest days into Friday and Saturday that that will come up. It's mainly tree pollen at this point. And the heat is coming up as you look along the West Coast. They still have it. Uh, Portland today, as you know, it's very, very hot and Redding, California was 94 degrees. If you move to the interior, we still have the 80s because of this unsettled weather. That is these storms that are pushing around our area. And as unique as this is, they're coming down through the mountains and they're swinging north of Twin Falls. They're in the Sun Valley area and they're out here to the west in Oregon and those storms are moving to the south and they're moving down over the Owyhees. So far, we're just dry with clouds all around us. So like I said, there could be just an isolated thunderstorm that moves into the area, but it doesn't look too likely compared to the, the trend of what's been going on. This is the same situation that's going to take place for tomorrow. Once it moves out, we really start drying out in the upper atmosphere and then the temperatures really start heating up and it's going to happen. If you look at the future cast, you look at Boise for tonight. So we start out this evening and you see that most of the showers stay to our south and to our north. We might see some high clouds through tomorrow, so we're pretty much looking at the dry side when we look at this forecast. Now something for this weekend when we talk about hot temperatures, endure it, hold on to it if that's okay, unless you like it. And then you'll notice that by the time we get to Monday, next week is a totally different story where temperatures will be in the 70s. And by the following weekend, we'll get back up into those mid 80s. So those temperatures are pretty close to what we should be seeing for this time of year. These are the temperatures for tomorrow. Most of the Magic Valley will be up around 80 degrees. As you look at Sun Valley, you see those temperatures in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees. And of course, that's warm over here to the Western Mountains as well as you have the lower 70s. Down here in the Valley, Ontario once again had a high of 87, Caldwell 85, Napa 84 degrees. See Weezer with 87, 85 in Emmett. You notice the Eagle for tomorrow will be 85, Meridian 85, 84 degrees for the high temperature in Boise. Now look at the seven day forecast. Here's the heating that will take place. There's the 89, still thinking 90 on Friday, 92. Whew. Okay, let me back out of this. That's going to be for Saturday. I'm going to sit down. As you look at Sunday, you see there's the 91. The next week, as promised, we're looking at these temperatures dropping. We're going to be back with more news in just a moment.